Hello, race fans. It's your favorite announcer, Mark Moreland, a.k.a. Emo. Welcome to our show, Grand, presented by Blood, Sweat, and Tears Promotions. We got a little bit to talk about and let you know what's going on. The latest news in dirt track racing in Colorado. Last weekend, May 17th and 18th, we had our big Dwarf Car National Show up at I-76 Speedway in Fort Morgan. It was a great show. They had 50-plus dwarf cars there. Everybody had a great time. It was just a great crowd. Friday night was the qualifiers. Everyone qualified on Friday night. And then Saturday was the big main events. Saturday night, we had three winners. We have the pros, the pro dwarf cars, which was won by Jeff Patterson from Carrollton, Texas. Also, our vets and our sportsmen was won by Colorado drivers. Now, our veterans division was won by a man by the name of Dale Welch. Dale Welch from Greeley, Colorado, a longtime dwarf car racer, is always fast on the racetrack, especially there at Fort Morgan, and he just showed him the way around, and he took the checkered flag on Saturday. Also, the sportsman dwarf car division was won by a young phenom, a young man by the name of Merrick Pipe. Merrick Pipe the son of Claire and John Pipe from Riverside Recyclers, John the promoter of this particular event. Merrick is only 12 years old, believe it or not. Hard to believe these kids get younger and younger all the time. Watch Merrick pretty much grow up in the mini mods for at least four or five years. He raced some mini mods and then he's been in a dwarf car since last year, rookie year, and he's already won three big features that I know of. A, a big feature in Oklahoma last year and then a big feature in Texas a few weeks ago and then this big feature this big national event we just had in Colorado congratulations to all the winners especially Merrick great job this is our future it's our future of a dirt track race got to keep the people coming up because you know none of us other fans are getting any younger you know what I mean any of us other racers are getting any younger so it's always great we have young people coming up young fans young drivers we need some more young crew chiefs some more young wrenches we need people to you know come on up and get involved in the races so I'll be having an interview with Merrick here down the road and I'll be bringing that to you. And I tell you, he's, he's way mature for his years and just a great young man to talk to. And that's what happened at uh, I-76 Speedway this last weekend. And let's talk about what's going to be happening this weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day madness coming your way. El Paso County Raceway, Callahan, Colorado. We're going to have the late models, Western Plains, Nutrient Ag Solutions, Dirt Car, Sanctuary late models so the big late models will be here the thunder and herd coming your way sweet sweet late model music as i like to say can't beat it anywhere been my favorite all my life and the late models always get excited for the late models and we'll have some really great drivers there we're gonna have kelly yutterman yeller kelly's always good and fast showtime scott Rhodes. i heard our promoter joe bella might even jump into a late model he's been itching to get into some kind of race car i tell you he's gonna drive I was crazy if he doesn't get in a race car pretty soon. I hope he gets in one this weekend. Anyway, we're going to have the late models and the IMCA classes. We'll have our great IMCA drivers, our stock car drivers. We always say, you know, the division too tough to tame, as they like to say. And we have our IMCA stock car drivers like Randy Ecker will be there, uh, Cameron O'Lear, and Phil Reed, and of course, Laney the Ladybug. Ballum will be there. So he should be driving that Warrior Welding stock car, and that thing's pretty fast. So they're all real fast and they're door handle the door handle throwing elbows you know and stock car drivers are always exciting to watch along with our sport mods and our other divisions in the IMCAs. also we'll have our warriors our warrior class get out there and get you a warrior you could build one in the backyard be a shade tree mechanic or whatever you are it's easy to put together a warrior car just you can get a hold of bst and and we can hook you up with a warrior car also we'll have the mini mods that's what's going on this weekend and let me talk about what's going on at the game so here, here, here's the here's the lowdown on what's going on at the gate. Well, first off, it's Memorial Day weekend, so what else will we be doing? But honoring our veterans, we'll be honoring our veterans. Any service, any service that you were in, or you're active, or you've been deployed, you're retired. I mean, it doesn't matter. You were in the service. We honor you. Thank you so much for your service. Buy a ten dollars at the gate. Ten dollars gets you in the gate for all veterans. Bring your families. Come on down and see the races. Like I say, 
late models are coming. They're going to be just putting on a heck of a show along with everyone else. So it's $10 at the gate for the veterans. Also, let's talk about armbands. The last time we had a rain out, I asked everybody to save your armbands. Here's what the, how it's going to go. If you have an armband from the very first race this year, that's going to get you $5 off of, so a $5 discount, off of a regular price at the door. Also, if you have a, rain, a wrist armband from the rain out two weeks ago, you get in for $5. So an armband from the first race gets you a $5 discount. An armband from the rain out gets you $5 in. So just $5 gets you in the door and you see a great, great show. $10 for our veterans, $5 discount for anyone that was at our first race with the big sprint car show. And then $5 gets you in the door if you have your wristband from the rain out. So it pays to save your wristbands. I saved my wrist. I have wristbands from 30 dang years ago. Why? I don't know. Maybe someone will call and give me a discount. Other than that, you know, I just save them because they're, you know, it's a good memory. I love going to the racetrack. I'm a super fan just like all of you. That's what keeps me going, being a super fan. I tell everybody, what keeps me coming back to the racetrack is the smell, man. I love the smell, the oil and the rubber and the fuel, you know, that everyone has their own little hook, you know. So besides the racing, BST, if you're coming to a BST show, you're coming to a show. The racing's the big part of it. I tell everyone, you come to a race, maybe a, a bullfight will break out, you know. I mean, you never know what's going to happen at a BST show. This week, we have live music with a full throttle band. They're really an awesome band out of the springs down there. And then we also have our regular food vendors. So Famous Dave will be there along with all the rest. Also, our uh, m- memorabilia, Mr. Bob Olson will be there with t-shirts, sweatshirts, and his regular bunch of stuff that he, he has. He has everything you might want. Also, axe throwing. Axe throwing. So face painting, all kinds of vendors. I mean, you name it, we got it. It's good times for everyone. Like Joe Bellum, our promoter, likes to say, good times with good people. And that's a matter of fact. You're going to have a good time. I guarantee it. You cannot come down there and you never know. I might be out giving out checkered flags to the fans, to the kiddies, the little ones. Also, this year, we have our youth program, our super fan youth giveaway, which is like you go down, you come in, it's called the Youth Club. You come in, you sign your kitties up, and they can go out and give out trophies on the Victory Lane. So if your kitties get their name drawn, you can go down, get your picture taken, at the, and, and be down there and hold the trophy. Give the trophy to the winner. That's big. The kitties love it. So make sure you sign your kitties up. Also, like I say, face painting. We have our live stream. If you're at the races or you can't make it this weekend, you can always go to bstproductions.com and sign up for the live stream stream. There's no excuse to miss races anymore. I mean, you can see them on the TV or on your telephone or any device that you have. Also, you can go to El Paso County Raceway.com and find out all the information about this weekend. You, there's just so many ways to find out what's going on with BST, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, productions, promotions, racing. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel, BST Racing. Subscribe. Now, you know, you like what you see. Maybe you don't, but we hope you do. You could poke it. Oh, Give a little poke to subscribe. Give us a little thumbs up. And we really appreciate that. All that helps dirt track racing. All that helps you along the way. More information, the more you know, the more you can go, right? So this weekend, Saturday, May 25th at El Paso County Raceway down in Calhan. I hope to see you all there. I'll see you in the victory circle.